gas prices are exploding past the incomes of millions of families. As gas prices and crop failures push high food costs, you can still get the best food on the planet from eFoodsDirect.com. Demand for food is high, but eFoods Direct has plenty of radiation-free food to meet your needs. With our new triple production capacity, you will get the fastest shipments of food in the country to help you get the most food possible. When you order three of any qualified pack, you will get the fourth one absolutely free. That's the buy three, get the fourth free food special. Your immediate order will not only freeze the present low food prices, but also guarantee your food availability. Folks, I'm telling you, it is the smart move to go to eFoods Direct right now and buy three of any qualified item and receive the fourth one free. Get the most for your food dollar by calling 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. That's 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. Hi, folks, this is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow, step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. It's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are here live. Thank you for joining us. Dr. Pachinik will be with us at least 30 minutes into the next hour. We have a whole cornucopia of issues I want to get into. Uh, don't forget, listeners, that we've got Jesse Ventura's new New York Times bestselling. It's number four. 63 documents the government doesn't want you to read, along with the excellent new book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True by Mark Dice. Both of these discounted. When you get them, you can get one of my documentary films on DVD of your choice absolutely free uh, at Infowars.com. Uh, also, we have a new film that we're carrying called The American Dream. It's a super high-quality animated documentary about the history of the private banking cartel, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, uh, the whole system. Uh, excellent documentary, The American Dream, Fighting the Lying Liars. One Stupid Lie at a Time, excellent new film that we're carrying, uh, available at InfoWars.com. Uh, continuing here with our sponsors, eFoodsDirect.com. They have a current special, buy three, get any fourth item, uh, food pack free, get prepared. Uh, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes, earthquakes, tsunamis, man-made disasters, economic collapse, war, even unemployment are all possible and could happen at any time. And I, I believe in storable food, firearms, you name it. 
uh, disasters come in many shapes and sizes, but the one constant is they happen suddenly without warning. This is super high quality, all produced in America food. And for a limited time, you can buy three of any of their packs and get a fourth free for Alex Jones. Listeners, you want to go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. That's eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or give them a call at 800 409 5633. 800 409 5633. Okay, uh, going back to Dr. Steve Pachinik and, and moving quickly with him. Doc, let me just uh, get this out of the way right now because uh, we we really know your information on Bin Laden is accurate. Uh, your 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 whole history and all the black ops and uh, overthrow of the tyrants and assassinations. Uh, I mean, the more I you know learn about you, uh, you are not telling people actually uh, all of your considerable. Uh, exploits. It's actually the opposite. So you're more than meets the eye. You're more than what you even uh, say you are. So we know why uh, you're, you're, you're the model for the Tom Clancy uh, character, Jack Ryan. But I've had people I also respect on, uh, like Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, uh, people like uh, Joel Skousen, and they're intrigued by what you say, and they have you know no doubt about uh, you, you know your overall info. But but. Uh, some of their questions mirror what listeners have said, especially Skousen's, and that is, how can you say the government is evil and stage 9-11, and the evidence is legion, uh, or how can you sit there and then uh, talk about them staging this new raid and say that that's when it's gone bad, when, uh, you know, who you work for, Henry Kissinger, George Herbert Walker Bush, I mean, these are people, you mentioned China earlier. They were involved opening up China. And folks can argue, well, that's opening them up so then they can be changed into a free market system. I mean, I understand all the arguments. I don't want to put words in your mouth. But, but, but you know, the, basically it's the statement of you come from that power structure uh, and, you know, from this secret system. And are you saying that things just went bad in 2001? Or why are you going public? Or what is the point of this? I mean, I think I'm encapsulating their question. Yeah, I understand. People are wondering who I am, what I am. Who I am is not as important, although you said it. I'm not, I'm not interested in self-aggrandizement. If they want to read my books, they're more than happy to. I'm really not interested in going to TV or anything else. The reason I went on your show, and I kept saying it is, I lived in a world which was a gray zone, and because of my uh, loyalty to my country, remember to the country, and, and one, of the, one of the statements that I uh, make a point of is my country right or wrong, I will still defend my country and my constitution. I do not care who is in the office of the presidency. I care about the office of the presidency and the constitution and those men and women who fight for it. So if I worked for Henry Kissinger, I was more than happy the next day to protest the war in Vietnam on the streets. If I worked for Jay, uh, Senior Bush, I was more than happy to protest what he said. Only in America, and this is what your public has to understand, only in America can one work for a system and at the same time criticize the system. I can't tell you how important that is. This is not all or nothing. Every country throughout history has had a hide behind a bodyguard of lies. That's the nature of national security. But when those bodyguard of lies are inflicted upon the public, that is a 9-11 or an LBJ pulling the, uh, the Gulf of Tonkin, or stand down under the uh, Kennedy, you know, the Kennedys going into a war all over the world. Then it's the point where guys like me who are American citizens, it doesn't matter what my background is, that's an issue for people to say, well, is he credible or not? Is he a member of the CFR? Yeah, I'm a member of the CFR. I'm also a member of the Association of Former Intelligence Officers and National Military. And what I'm trying to say is, in our government, there are so many people who are both in the intelligence community and the military community who feel like I do. They are American citizens. You have men and women who are fighting all over the world for reasons they may not understand and they don't agree with, but still they serve our country. The people who do not serve our country are the people who are in the process business, which you've been talking about, and that's the bankers. 
the lawyers, the people who feel that process is more important than product, and that than defending our country is more important, that not defending our country and not going into our country to serve it is more important than their self-aggrandizement. Basically, what you're saying is... So, You've been an insider. Point, You've let done me a say something. I come out as an American citizen who says I follow the Constitution and I defend the Constitution with my life. I serve my country, right or wrong. I still serve it, but I'm not afraid to die. I've been sent into missions abroad many, many times where I've offered and volunteered. But at the same time, I have never been afraid to tell the Jimmy Carter, get the hell out of my uh, crisis center. I have told other presidents to get out of the way because I've got 500 hostages, and they've done it. And I'm not afraid to put myself on the line if I have to save lives. And if that means I've got to save what I think is the American democracy of public, I'm not that grandiose. I'm not a new Gingrich or any one of these sociopaths. I'm willing to say it's enough. But at the same time, I do not throw out the baby with the bathwater. We have intelligence operatives and we have intelligence generals who are incredible. They have four or five uh, uh, master's degrees. They have PhDs. These are men who've been in combat, who've served our country and are watching the civilians spoiling our country. And those are the men and women I address. I address our citizens who have two jobs and three jobs, or Alex Jones who comes out on his own and repeatedly is willing to be attacked and be called a conspirator or, or paranoid. I mean, all the adjectives that I receive, I don't care about that. What I care about is to say, yeah, I'm a member of all these things. I don't necessarily attend them. I'm also a member of the Red Carpet Lounge at United, but it doesn't mean I always go there. But what I will not tolerate is when the American government, the government per se, will attack its own people, will denigrate our capabilities in terms of our ability to be productive and to be able to make a living because we're entrepreneurs and because we don't want to be controlled by the government. Well, well let me add a point here. Let me add a point here because, I mean, regardless, you were right about the bin Laden already being dead after you came on my I've been show. Right about many things. It's All not these, an issue whether I'm right and wrong. The sure. real issue, Alex, is what is the American public going to do? I've been right about 9 11. I was right it was a stand down and a false flag. I teach at the War College every year teaching that. I was right about anybody you want to say. It's not about being right. When a physician tells you you've got cancer, believe me, I don't want to be right. The question is, what do you want? to do and the answer is if you do nothing and we go over the same thing and i repeat listen we've got cancer in this country it is a disaster we have to clean it out this president is not qualified to be in charge but we don't need to have revolution actively you've got to have a system that's changed because you're not you're going to have that president again i don't care what you say and do and the next one in turn will be a republican because the system is fixed as long as you have electoral college being right is not what I'm interested in. It's what is the American public going to do and stand up for their rights. If they decide they don't want to stand up for their rights, they decide they don't want to put anybody in prison for 9-11, that's their decision, not mine. Well, I admire, I, I admire your, your courage coming out nine plus years ago saying 9-11 was an inside job and going over evidence um, and you know, now saying you're willing to talk to a grand jury and and how do we ever expect people from the power structure to do the right thing and have the courage you have if when they come out we say well they're from the system and and, and that's not what roberts was saying is to some callers and you know to a certain extent a uh, scouse and, and and i understand his question roberts was just saying well, why doesn't he go ahead basically and tell us who this general is? Uh, because, you know, then he'll be a lot safer and, and they won't come killing. But then you've added that you've got mutually assured destruction. You've got uh, stuff on them waiting to be released if something happens to you. I'm not worried about it. Let's, let's forget who Pachenik is. As you said, I'm not interested in who I am or what I am. Now, this is not an issue of that. This is an issue. Does the American public understand that this is going on? If I can tell you Osama bin Laden has been dead for 10 years and no one, but no one in the national security area refuted that statement. Nobody. If I can tell you it's a stand down, 9-11, not one person said in the national security area that that was wrong. The issue isn't about Steve Pachenik and whether I'm afraid of my life. The issue is what do you expect from your politicians who are egregiously spending our money, wasting our money, 
who really are uh, sitting there basically in a, in a collusive relationship. The word is collusion, my dear friends. That is, they help each other. Nothing has changed in our democracy. We do not have a democracy. We have a republic. And the issue, does the American public want to stand for a democracy and have a third party and demand that their money not go to the GMs who are sponsoring Chinese propaganda, not going to presidents who have to fly all around the country, the world?